Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you the bird's nest. This is a really nice below the hoop move with a beautiful line to it. First I'll show you the basic position and then we'll add some variations so that you can make it a little bit more intermediate. Start sitting in the hoop, then place one hand on each side of the hoop and lean back to place your feet braced against the top of the hoop. As your feet come up, let your hands slide down the sides of the hoop and scoot your hips a little bit forward so that the bottom bar of the hoop is on your tailbone. You should be in a nice back balance position here, so you can take a minute and pick your arms off, do some pretty arm movement. When you're ready, place your hands on the bottom of the hoop a little bit out from your hips. If the hoop was a clock, you'd be putting your hands at four o'clock and eight o'clock. Make sure your palms are facing forward. Finally, open up your legs to a V position so that the sides of the hoop are touching your shins. I'll show you a different camera angle in a minute so you can see more of what my legs are doing. Now you're ready to push your hips forward and slide your feet down the sides of the hoop to come into your bird's nest arched back position. The easiest way to come out of this is just to bring your hips down through your arms as you bend your knees and hook the bottom of the hoop into your hawk's position. Then you can just take the sides of the hoop and come up as normal. That's the beginner version. If you're a beginner and you want to just stick with this position for now, make sure to go over to my channel and subscribe because I've got lots of other tutorials for all levels from basic to advanced. Let's move on to a little bit more advanced beginner level. You're going to start in exactly the same way by bringing your legs up to the top of the hoop, sliding your hands down and sliding your hips out into your bird's nest position. Here's where we change it up. You're going to use your abs to bring your head and shoulders back forward as you flex your feet and slide down to where the sides of the hoop are hooked on your flexed feet. Make sure to push your legs apart so you're pushing against the sides of the hoop while you take your hands off and come into your nice ankle hang position. To come out of it, place both your hands together on the bottom center of the hoop between your legs with your palms facing towards your body. Then you can take your legs off and come into your straddle mount position, rehook your knees and come back into the hoop. I may have forgot to film the intermediate version of this on the same day, so just pretend that I look the same and the camera angle's not super weird and it's not dark outside in this video. Start in your front hip crease like you're going into a front balance. Then you're going to lift your chest and reach back and take the sides of the hoop with your hands as you lift your legs and your feet as high as possible behind you. Lean your chest forward so that your legs are able to come up a little higher behind you and you can hook your toes on the opposite side of the hoop. Once your toes are hooked, push, 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 push with your legs and straighten them so that you're doing the bird's nest position, but this time you are on the side of the hoop instead of below it. Pro tip, make sure that your legs are nice and straight in this position. It's really gonna make a huge difference in the finished product. Also, like I've said before, I don't have the bendiest back in the world, but I really get the most out of these back bendy positions by using my head and my neck and really tipping them back as far as I can to continue the arch of my back. It's going to make you look a lot more bendy if your head is as far up in this as possible. Pro tip for the intermediate level, the higher your hands are on the sides of the hoop, the more arch you're going to have to have in your back. So if you're really struggling with this position, try lowering your hands a little bit. Also, make sure that your palms are facing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy learning all these different variations of the bird's nest. And don't forget that I take requests. So if you have a move that you would like to learn, I'm looking for ideas.